Slope intercept form is the next one we're going to talk about. And this is in the form y equals mx plus b. You may have heard that before. Um, there's two things in here besides our y and our x, and that's the m and the b. The m, of course, is going to be our slope. And then the b is going to be what's known as the y-intercept, or where the graph crosses the y-axis. So from this, we can do lots of different things. Let's check out a couple. The first thing we can do is identify what the slope and the y-intercept are, given um, some different formulas here, or some different equations, I should say. Um, and this first one, the slope, remember, that comes right before our x value. And so that's going to be 1 half. Um, but the b, notice it's usually a plus something. Well, there's no plus after here, no plus or minus, I should say. And so because of that, I could add in zero and that would not change it. So my B is actually going to be zero. There's, um, it crosses the Y axis at zero. Uh, for number two, it says Y equals eight minus X. This one's kind of flipped backwards. I could rewrite this to say the same thing as Y equals negative X. This is a positive eight, so I'll say plus eight. And now it's written in that form. And so I can clearly see that there's a negative one for my slope. And then the B is going to be eight. Okay, the last one's probably the most simple, even though it looks complicated with those fractions, but our slope is the number right in front of our x, negative two-thirds, and our b is going to be 17 fourths, because it's plus 17 fourths. All right, even though they're fractions, that's totally fine. You can have that as those different numbers in slope-intercept form. Okay, now it wants us to graph these equations using slope-intercept form. Okay, so for this first one, if you remember, it should be written in the form y equals mx plus b. Is it? And yes, it is. Y equals negative four. Negative four is going to be our slope. I'll write that off to the side here. And our B is going to be a three. So remember I said that the B stands for a Y intercept. That means it crosses the Y axis at three in this case. So if this is my Y, that's my X at three, one, two, three, I can put a dot right there on the Y axis because I know it's going to cross. And then from there, I can just use my slope of negative four or remember it's rise over run. So negative four over one to go down four, one, two, three, four, so right here, and then over one, you always run to the right, rise over run. And I can connect those two dots, and the, that line is the line that represents that equation, okay? Let's do another one, this one's a little bit harder. This one says negative three y equals six minus 18 x. So again, it needs to be in the form y equals mx plus b. Currently it's not, because the y is not by itself. In our formula, the y is always isolated. So we can get there by just a simple um, step of dividing by negative three on both sides. Okay, so when I do that, now I'm gonna have y, that's all that's left over, equals, and I'm gonna write the x term first. If I think negative 18x divided by a negative three, that's a positive six, positive six x. And then I'm gonna write the constant term six divided by a negative three is a negative two. Okay, now notice it's written in the form y equals m six, x plus b, b is the negative two. Okay, so I start at the b, always start at the b, it's a negative two here, so on the y axis, I'm gonna go down two, put a dot right there, and then now the slope says to go up six and over one, right? I can, again, write that as rise over run as a fraction. So if I go up six, one, two, three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then over one, it would be connecting these two dots, do my best kind of freehand here. You'll have graph paper, so it'll be better for you. But that'll be the graph that represents this equation.